everyone, I'm Mrs. Seoxin, and welcome back to where you're playing Stardew Valley, of course, and today's gonna be interesting because I think our first thing is going to be the Flower Dance Festival, which, ooh, very excited about, but then I think we'll also have some heart events going into the next day. I'll have to check. I know we have one for Haley for sure, but we might have some other ones as well, so let's look at that real quick. Let us see. And some of our hearts are going to go more from the flower fest. But like right now, yeah, we have our four heart with Haley. Um, dang, four hearts with all these people. Look at us go. But we can talk to them at the festival. And when you talk to them at festivals, that actually does increase um, your friendship points. I don't know if we have any extra. Because we already had two hearts with all of them. Dang, we have so many hearts with everyone. Okay. Penny. We don't have Penny yet. So we got weather. Going to be beautiful and sunny all day. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. We have sloths. We have a shallon. I think I know how to make it. Awesome. Now we can leave the house. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we have our green beans. Don't get me wrong. I'm upset because I forgot to go to the store on the day I needed to go to the store. That's why I'm upset. Also, who will we ask to- I think we'll try for Abigail first since she is the person we're going for. If we don't get Abigail, I'll probably do Shane. I think I have to wait till 9. But yeah, let's look at what we got here. Do we want any of this stuff? I forget if there's anything good here. I wish we could get that rare crow, but we do not have that kind of money. I think it's funny you can buy, like, these. In, like, bulk. I'm almost tempted because I know that we are giving a lot of daffodils as gifts and that is like their purpose. You can give them as a gift to most of the girls. But sadly, you actually can't give them to almost everyone, which is really sad. Like a lot of the guys don't like them, which I think is really dumb. Should I do it, guys? I mean, it doesn't hurt. We'll just... Oh, I have to buy them individually? Oh, never mind that. I'm not dealing with that madness, Perry. You're crazy. You're a crazy guy. Oh, shoot. Oh. Forgot if you asked them twice in there. Gonna wanna dance with you. Oh, my heart just, like, soared in my chest. Okay. You should be nervous. Let's ask her. Let's see if she'll let us do it. Dang, she said no. She rejected us, guys. She rejected us. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Oh well, we'll dance with Shane. He'll say yes. Yeah, we got it. All right. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Oh man, I'm so excited. I just make sure there's nothing else to say to everyone. Because I was so paranoid about asking people out. Yeah, let's start. First flower dance festival, guys. At least we got a date. Get us. We're the only one not in a white dress. Dang, what an elaborate dance. Like, how amazing. I can't believe we're so talented at this. Like, wow. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Now, I know this is going to be a short episode, guys, because there is a festival. I could go longer, though. Hmm. I'm debating whether or not I'll do a longer day or a shorter day because of the festival. can't believe we got scammed into buying a $50 flower. I should have remembered. I should have known better. Alright. Go to sleep. Alright, so... We gotta do Haley and Penny. So we might have more. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna see if we got any more hearts. I think we might have gotten another heart with Shane, but I don't know if he has a five heart event. So, let us see. So, hearts. Yeah, we do have a five heart with Shane. He does not have a five heart event, though. Let's see if we increase stars with anyone else. No, these are all the same. Oh, we have a two heart with Harvey. Oh, frick. Okay, so two heart with Harvey. That's good. But everyone else is still a one. Okay, and then we also need to go to the store. That's the other thing. Oh, we got the house shop. Okay. Alright, so let me just fill up this watering can real quick. Alright. Oh yeah, I was gonna... Eh, it's fine. I won't do the gifts. It's okay. Just can't get this jar open. <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, it's you. Jay, right? Yes, that is my name. Say, you're pretty strong, aren't you? Yes, I would say so. I work on a farm. Great! Then you shouldn't have a problem opening this jar for me. Yeah, I can surely do it. Come on. Come on, Jay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, you did it! You're stronger than you look! I would hope so. I work on a farm all day. <laughs> Thanks! Alrighty. Look at us go. Should we talk to her while we're at it? Is she in here? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. We can talk to Emily later. And this should trigger the next event. Yeah, there we go. Penny's event. Sorry. Or sorry. <sighs> How am I supposed to reach that letter in the back? I don't know what voice to do for George, honestly. <laughs> I'm not good at voices, so it's okay. Here, let me help you, Mr. M Mjolnir? Mr. Mjolnir? M M Mjolnir? I have a speech impediment, guys. Don't come for me. <laughs> Myself, and I certainly, and I can certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Oh. Jay, you're watching us. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just walking and minding my own business. Don't you mind me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, hmm. The question is, what is going to give us the most hearts? I think this is going to give us the most hearts with Penny. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, I think we'll... Okay, yeah. I think, yeah. I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. Thank you. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. <sighs> no, no. I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. I was actually very- it was actually very kind of you to help me out. Aw, I actually like George, just for the record. <laughs> That's okay, Mr. Mjolnir. I understand. I 
ironically enough, we're going to get two cutscenes with him today. You'll see what I mean in a bit. It must be difficult to grow old. <laughs> I'd rather not think about it. It's just a different part of life. That's why we should respect our elders. I'd rather die young. No. No, no, no. I would rather not. This is not... No. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. It's just a different part of life. I... Yeah, I would say it's more like it's just a different part of life. I mean, like, yeah, you should respect your elders. I think it's just, but it is, like, an extension of life. And it's not as bad if you have someone to, like, be there with you. Like, he is Evelyn, you know, like, and there are certain struggles of it. But, like, you know, it's like, I'm sure he is still, like, I don't know. I'm sure he is still grateful, you know. You're right. We shouldn't ignore the reality of aging. I guess the sooner we come to terms with our mortality, the more time we can spend really living in the here and now. Yeah, basically. Well, it was interesting talking to you, Jay. I should go. Alright, farewell, Penny. Farewell. Alright, now we have the Harvey event, which is also with that. So we can actually talk to Penny, too, though. Okay, we can talk to him real quick. There we go. See? Two with him. Okay, George, I want you to take a deep breath for me. Mm-hmm. Turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes in your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some more ex moderate exercise with your arms. Hmm. I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Oh! I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. You should really lock the door. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young lady. I love you, George, but you're not going to like my advice. Okay, very well. So I actually have gotten this advice. Uh, Cause I, I think I've gotten it all except for the 14 heart event with Harvey, I think. I might have actually gotten the 14 heart. I don't know. But I married him in the one file with my younger siblings, so I have actually seen this before, but yeah. So Jay, what do you think George should do? And so George should follow Dr. Harvey's advice because he is the doctor. Thanks, Jay. You see, George, I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, doctor. Thanks for your help, Jay. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will talk to these guys, because they're pretty great. So he actually likes leaks. Which is one of the reasons I started saving my leaks, was for George, actually. <laughs> as weird as that is. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Okay. But I actually do need to buy some seeds, so let's talk to Harvey so we can get some of these. Okay. And then let's see, what else can we do? It is... The 25th, so we're kind of late to do cauliflower. Four days? Ooh, these might not, not grow. Hmm, we're living on the edge. I think I have some growth, though, for the parsnips, so... We'll just plant them. And hope for the best. I'll use the growth thing on them. Which isn't how I'd like to use it, but I think that's just what's gonna have to be done. Um, then I think Sam... Has he left his house yet? Where's Haley? But we've already talked to her. That's really 
it's sad that his dad's... Oh, hey. Ew, it smells. It's just the day of cutscenes. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. I don't know why I'm making him sound like that. I just don't know why voice skip children. Professor Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out from his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this just has got to be the match for a big rusty old key. There's something moving around in there. Yeah, I'm persistent. All right. So. Couldn't talk to Leia, so that kind of sucks. I guess we can do some fishing, if nothing else. Get some fishing experience, and I think over here is the best place to fish. I mean, really, it's up by the carpenter's house, but, you know. This will do for now. Bream. A golden bream. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've just not got a lot of rainy days. I wonder if we're going to have a really rainy season at some point. Because we really need one. Because we need some days in the mine. As nice as it's been to have all this time to like talk to everyone. We just need some days to grind the mine so we can get our silo back. Since we lost that in the transfer. So I don't get why people use fishing mods, and I don't mean that to be rude, but it's like, I get the fishing can be hard, but you get kind of used to it after a while, you know? Like, it's not impossible. It's a challenge, but it's not possible, and the more you do it, the better you get at it. And also, the higher up and the level you get, the better you get at it, the easier it is, because you get a larger bar, the bait helps once you start upgrading and all that stuff. Some people act like it's, like, literally impossible to fish without mods in this game and it's not shade if you have to use one or whatever it's just like i don't know i feel like just like everything else in life it's got a little bit of a learning curve but you figure it out maybe that's just me though i could just be the freak in this situation that's totally also normal Ooh, look at that oh gosh we got a bunch of good stuff I'm gonna have to get rid of some of the flowers. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay, um, and then we also have that. So we take that. Copper. Bait. Oh gosh, okay. That pains me. Okay. I guess with that, we'll head back up to the house. The other thing is typically during the winter time I do tend to grind the um, mines because you know you don't have to do that so fishing and mines are like my two biggest things I do during the winter. So winters will probably not be as interesting although I haven't been doing a good job of um, actually you know doing stuff here. 
Alright, I think we already have a bream in there, but just in case, we'll just keep that one for now. And then I don't think we can sell any of that. I don't think we can sell that. Alright, go put everything up. debating. I think we'll push it. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if I could push it and do it another day. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. If it's slightly a longer video, it's a slightly longer video. I just really, I think we can handle another day. So let's do that. We had a short event and then we had a lot of cutscenes. So I think we can do it. It'll be all right. No, oh, actually, let's check our relationships with everyone. I know I do this every time, but you never know. They change a lot. It's good to stay up to date with who all you have. This is rough. Okay. I'm gonna gather some of this. Oh, um. I'm gonna take some of the stuff out that we can actually turn into the museum. Um, just because. Might as well do that. Um, I don't think I have anything I can really bring up to the community center just yet. Wait, did I? I did not do this. Oh, it's gonna be a rainy day tomorrow. Okay, well, interesting. Oh, well, I barely have any plants anymore to water, so. Thanks, that makes this easier. start heading over to the museum to turn everything in and then we can try to talk to some people today as well okay yeah, so we have not donated anything so I think I usually put my crystals over here in this area and then I put this kind of stuff over here There's actually more things we need to donate than just that, but, um, oops. Okay. Um, dang. Maybe I should have grabbed more stuff. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can always get it later. We don't always have to do it right away. Let's go check the trash can. That's not too bad. So I think I've briefly talked about this. Maybe not briefly. I talk about this quite frequently, so I would not be surprised if this is something I've said many times, but um there's this whole conspiracy in the game, right? That like fans of the game have where Abigail is not actually Perry's daughter. I know wild. But this is like something a lot of people say, right? I don't believe this. A lot of fans do because they're like, oh, well, her hair's purple. Duh. But like, and then people are like, you know, so she must be the wizard's like child. But I don't know. I always got the sense that Caroline and Perry were actually in a happy relationship. Not only that, but we do get proof later on that uh, Caroline says that she dyes her hair and that her hair is naturally more a chestnut brown like Perry's hair color, which would make more sense. Oh gosh, I cannot catch this one. Ooh, maybe actually, whoa. 
Oh gosh, no, I fell too low. I fell too low. Oh dang. So close. If that wasn't even me trying to go for the chest, I just really I couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, she says she has more of a chest up around like Paris. Um, but then some people are like, oh, that's just a cover story. But then like literally one of the questions, we haven't gotten it yet, but when we get it, I'll show you. But like one of the questions is Abigail's like, hey, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair again. What color should I do? And she said dyeing my hair again. Why would she say again unless she has, you know, you know, not only that, but you know who else has like purple hair? Sebastian. Jass. Shane. Like, a lot of people in this- well, I guess Jass and Sebastian's are slightly more brown, but- I mean, like, black, but they're still, like, purple e tents, you know? And these are, like, still, like, purple characters. And then Shane also has purple hair. I think you could have a better- like, you'd have a higher likelihood of seeing Shane is related to the wizard than Abigail. You're like, well, she's naturally, like, curious of the things and, like, wants adventure. Okay, well, you're, like, shocker, but your love for curiosity and trying new things doesn't actually come from your parents. And Caroline, I think, was problem child, probably, at some point. Because usually parents that are really worried about, like, problem child is because they were a problem child and they don't want their kids to end up like they did. Not only that, but then you've also got the whole, like, fact that, like, Abigail has a temper. And Pierre actually also has a temper. And so you could say, well, that she got that from her dad. Oh my gosh, I did the wrong one multiple times. Let's just start over. But, like, you could say that she got the hot temper from her dad, which would make a lot of sense. You know? I'm just saying. If I can catch any of these, that would be great. Not only that, but I would even say you might even have a better chance of saying Sebastian is the wizard's child because, like, we know for a fact that Robin was with someone else because, you know, obviously Sebastian is not Demetrius's kid. Everyone knows that. It's not even up for debate. And, you know, so I would say you have better luck arguing that Sebastian was related to the wizard or Shane than you would have at arguing Abigail because a lot of people know this, you know? And why would she need to cover up her relationship unless that means that she cheated on Perry because I don't think that Perry and Caroline had Abigail outside of wedlock like there's nothing that they say to imply that and then if she did why would Perry cover the fact that she, that's not his kid because everyone would know that this is a small town and so he she would have had to cheat on Perry and Caroline just doesn't seem like the type of woman who would cheat Especially because she's in a happy relationship. We know she's pretty happy. Like, they're doing better than probably a lot of people in the town are as far as financials go. You know, they own, like, the general store. I'm sure there's Jojo Mart. But, you know, a lot of people still show up at Perry's store. You know, and support the local comedy economy. And we know that because we see them in the store multiple times. You know? Not only- So it's like, they're not- they're not hurting. You know, and it's like, so why would she cheat on Perry, you know? It just like, even if you don't like him, like, it just, it doesn't make sense that she would cheat on him. Like, it's not in character for her. And there's been nothing into the game to apply that she has cheated on him. You know, so I'm like, it just, uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense. Especially because I don't think most people even know that there is a wizard in that tower. Like, they know the tower's, uh, I guess they do know the wizards. Uh, uh, I go back and forth on <laughs> whether or not they know. Because I want to say the wizard sets up the Halloween event. He does go to some of the events, but he doesn't go to all the events. And a lot of people don't really know anything about the tower. Actually, I should go to the saloon. We've got a full inventory, and I just remembered we have a lot of people we got to meet there. And some of them leave kind of early, so... I don't know, sorry. I know I've given this rank before, but it's been a while, and... um. And, uh, I felt the need. I felt compelled to um, bring it up again. I will die on this hill, guys. <laughs> I just, like, I don't get it. I, I don't think saying hair color equals relation is a good argument because if that's the case, then you can say a lot of people in this town aren't related. You know, and then you can also say a lot of people in this town aren't related simply because of their hair color either. You know? Because how many of the kids in this game actually have the same hair color as their parents? Yeah, 
Because again, like, if you're going to use the logic of, hey, well, they don't have the same hair color, so therefore they're not related, may I introduce the fact that, like, the get Marnie is Shane's aunt, like, biological aunt, which means Marnie is related to Shane's mother or father. She has brown hair, he has purple hair. But we know that they're related. Not only that, but then Pam is Penny's mom. Pam has blonde hair, Penny has orange hair. She's redhead. You know, not only that, um, freaking, what's her face? Yeah, Robin. Robin has orange hair. Sebastian has purple hair. We also have Jody. Jody has brown hair. Her son Sam has blonde hair. Now Ken has blonde hair, so that does make more sense. But then Vincent's a redhead, you know? And I don't know. I just think the hair argument's a really weak argument to say, like, oh, well, they must be related. Because how else would you explain the hair that she has said her in her own words? Not even just her mother, but she herself has said is dyed. Is dyed hair. So Abigail herself says she dyes her hair. Her mom says she dyes her hair. Everyone says she dyes her hair. But yet people are like, oh, well. <laughs> it must not be Paris. Like, no. Hair color does not argue your genetics. Like, bro, there are so many different hair colors in my family. So many. that but you could like argue right oh shoot okay, there we go. but you could like argue like so many people are related if you're just going off hair color i'm sorry i know i read too too much i know most of you guys don't want to hear this this is just something i feel very strongly about but again it's just if you're gonna oh that's the other one emily and Haley. and you could say well emily may be a natural blonde Okay, but if you're gonna say Emily's a natural blonde and not naturally blue haired, but you're gonna say Abigail's naturally purple haired and not brown haired, what the heck? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I just don't get it. I think it's the weakest argument. I think you'd have to make a lot stronger argument than she likes adventure and that she has purple hair for me to believe you and take you seriously. Like, you would just have to because it's not a strong enough argument. Because temperament has nothing to do with your parents. Yeah, you can have some traits that are similar to your parents. But it's not guaranteed. And, like, a love for adventure. A lot of people are adventurous. She's also in school, you know? And it's not exactly like shopkeeping is anyone's... Like, very few people, I would say. Their dream job is shopkeeping. Especially when you're young. And full of, like, dreams. You know? Like, how many people, when they're young, would say, Oh, yeah. My dream job, shopkeeping. I want to own the family store. I'm sure they're out there. It's not impossible. It's also just not very likely. I'm sorry. I really, I just, I went, I went so hard into that. Like, sorry guys. I should think about this in the other. Actually, oh shoot, I keep doing the wrong thing. I'm gonna put this up and we're gonna put the rusty sword and pickaxe out because next time we will be going to the mines. I know after hearing me lol about uh, uh, relationships, I'm sure that's. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think we'll bring some. These two, these are usually what I like to bring. I think I might just bring. This one, yeah, this give yeah, the same thing. So we'll just bring this for now, and then we'll head to bed because yes. Alrighty, guys, and with that, that's gonna be it for this video for this yeah <laughs> for this episode of Sardew Valley. If you liked it, be sure to give a like and comment down below, and even share it because. 
why not spread the love? Also, if you really, really enjoyed it, then also hit the subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you never miss a future video from me like the next part to the series, which will be coming out next week. Yay! Along with lots of other f videos like this, I play lots of different games. They're all really fun, and I can lull you with my amazing conversation. <laughs> But seriously, yeah, I love having you guys here and I love seeing it. Also, be sure to comment down below and let me know all your thoughts about the game and different things that you have because I love hearing what you guys think and I do take your suggestions and opinions seriously when playing this Let's Play, especially with Stardew. I love to take your suggestions as far as what marriage candidate, whoa, if I can talk, what marriage candidates we should do, what actions we should do in the game, different things like that. It's a lot of fun. So. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys, but um, be sure to tune in for the next video. Yeah, with, without, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be it for this one, guys. Alrighty.